Hare Krishna, I've got a question here from a month ago Oops. by Shigokula. Uh, Let try and get it out. Yes, and she was saying that I read in the Manashiksha, now I'm translating from Hungarian, uh, that it's important that we read from a, hear from a pure source. Uh, because uh, a material sound vibration will uh, plant an unfavorable seed within our heart. And in the December podcast, I uh, mentioned uh, that uh, it's not even, uh, one shouldn't even be indifferent, uh, or it's not even the same who leads Kirtan, uh, and because the motivation of the uh, chant that comes into play. On the other hand, we often hear that uh, uh, we use uh, primary books for uh, and presentations uh, which talk about success and management and uh, uh, other things like that uh, because uh, we want to better our service uh, and our uh, spiritual life. So from my point of view, this is a contradiction. It's a uh, good topic, interesting topic, uh, one that uh, stems off into uh, other uh, directions. Uh, on one side, uh, devotees who are uh, proponents of uh, going into studying other uh, books for different purposes, maybe on management, maybe on uh, uh, leadership, uh, principles of leadership, maybe on how best to organize a non-profit organization, maybe on uh, protecting uh, the society and learning uh, what other churches or institutions have learned from child abuse uh, and uh, putting in place uh, uh, the uh, things that will actually uh, help avoid that, deal with it, uh, how to uh, how to practice mediation uh, when there's conflict arises between devotees, uh, devotees and management, uh, different parts of management, and uh, these things are valuable. And the principle there that uh, is being espoused is that a devotee can take uh, gold from a dirty place, uh, and I. I agree with that. Uh, the other side, uh, which we always also have to keep in mind, is Srila Prabhupada also said, catch the big fish but don't get wet. So yes, take the gold from the dirty place but don't get dirty. Uh, and uh, take, take out the gold, take out the essence. And that requires a certain type of balance that you can't replace with anything else. Uh, you, can't, you can't replace ghee with uh, water when you're cooking. You have to cook with ghee. Uh, so you need to have intelligence in order to be able to discriminate uh, between taking something and actually becoming wet or becoming dirty, uh, becoming influenced by uh, what you're taking. There is certainly a wealth of knowledge out there in the material world uh, which people have come to through experience by empirical knowledge which is, which can be used in Krishna consciousness and which is not necessarily wrong. On the other hand, uh, this consulting of uh, non-Vedic or non-Prabhupada literature uh, came in after Srila Prabhupada's departure. During Srila Prabhupada's time, uh, with the rare exception, there wasn't much of this practice at all. Neither did Srila Prabhupada encourage that. In fact, to the opposite, uh, he discouraged that uh, if devotees would ask him about such things, generally he would say, go to my books and you'll find everything in my books. Uh, Srila Prabhupada would tell us, uh, Bhagavad Gita has everything, Srimad Bhagavatam has everything, Chaitanya Chaitanya. And generally, if we actually uh, look for these subjects and are willing to do the research and study that it requires to glean these topics uh, out, uh, we can find, if not a very detailed, but a broad uh, description 
uh, of these things in uh, Srila Prabhupada's books. Uh, for instance, I say very detailed because if you go in what does Prabhupada's books say about child protection, I don't think you'll find a very detailed step-by-step -step, uh, uh, mechanism uh, for how to avoid it, deal with it, report it, and uh, uh, deal with perpetrators and victims, uh, but you'll certainly find certainly guidelines and principles. Uh, on the other hand, Srila Prabhupada did uh, give uh, a, a certain leeway to some sections of uh, his society uh, for delving into uh, non-devotional literature, such as uh, for Bhaktivedanta Institute. He expected his scientists to know the arguments of the opposition, to know the arguments of scientists, which meant that they had to they have to get their PhDs. I was there when Srila Prabhupada encouraged Rabindra Sukhavu to finish his PhD to go to university, uh, which meant reading all kinds of other books uh, in order to know what is the arguments of the enemy. Uh, Sridhar Maharaj uh, told me that in Mumbai, uh, Prabhupada had told devotees that in the library they have all kinds of books, including even Shankar Charya's books. Uh, although on one side Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says my body Banash that if you read my bad philosophy your spiritual life is over but here Srila Prabhupada said yes but if you can read my bad philosophy and not be influenced uh, in order to know what to defeat then it's all right to have those books and for some people to read them not necessarily for everybody so of course that's a question of who is actually reading these things and then later on, as the movement uh, progressed, then we saw that we were making very common mistakes that are made by non-profit organizations, religious organizations. Uh, our leadership was really not inspiring the uh, support, now not just of our devotee followers, but even our uh, devotee supporters, uh, our congregation, uh, who wanted transparency and accounting, uh, particular leadership principles. Uh, that have been really worked out and therefore there are things like covey courses and daytime has started to come in and we started to keep our, uh, organize our time. Uh, and these things are helpful. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, the balance has to be there. So you can't get dirty, you can't get wet. And uh, there's at present a whole committee being set up on the question of hermeneutics and epistemology is uh, what is it, how do we see Vedic teachings, particularly Srila Prabhupada's teachings in perspective to what uh, empiricists of all different convictions and different sciences and arts say on different topics uh, because when they come in conflict with what Srila Prabhupada says when they come in conflict with uh, Vedic teachings, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, then at that point, my humble opinion is, uh, and those which you, we say are the conservative section of our society, then at that point we stop. We don't take it any further. Uh, we uh, don't want to qualify Srila Prabhupada's teachings uh, by uh, any type of uh, modern uh, ideologies. And uh, whereas this is actually another topic, uh, and a very detailed, lengthy topic, uh, and one that uh, probably I wouldn't be even uh, qualified at this time to give complete answers uh, on detailed questions, uh, that would require consultation with Vaishnavas and uh, research and so on. But the principle there is that yes, we should not get wet, we should not lose our faith in Srila Prabhupada, we should not decrease our faith in Srila Prabhupada and his teachings and the principles of Krishna consciousness, we should not compromise our uh, faith in the process of devotional service or chanting Hare Krishna. So there has to be a limit to the quantity of things that we import, to the quality of things that we import. It has to be done very carefully. It shouldn't be done